Good morning. You ready to have some tea? My steady regular process is to come here and talk when I am inspired. And it does not fit most business models for entrepreneurs. They always say consistency, consistency. But when you're studying the laws of the universe, I think it's the fifth law, the law of inspired action. At least that's the order that I have it in. I have to do things when I'm inspired to do them. If I'm not inspired to do it, I shouldn't be doing it. Okay? And all people should really be living like that. But for me, I've really noticed, like, that's that manifesting generator in me. That's that um, cancer rising in me, being ruled by the moon, jumping from place to place to place to place to place, manifesting generator energy, right? That's that, that's that Aries in me. That's that, I mean, we all have these signs somewhere in us, right? That's that's that energy of be inspired. Don't just get on here and be yapping. That's why I don't talk about the same subject all the time. So I know people will come here. Oh, you're a business person will go. Oh, your stuff is all over the place. You should stick with one steady message. But that's not who I am. And as a manifesting generator, it's impossible for me to be like that because I'm always thinking. I'm always on the move. The one thing that is consistent in my life, I'm always thinking about things that try to help. Um, the world heal me. And if it's healing me and if it's helping my loved ones, why not share it with people, right? So one of the things that um, I recently just decided to start really talking about is herbs that help to detox, purge the body, okay? So why? Because... I just lost a family member to cancer and detoxing is key to life. Detoxing is probably one of the main reasons that <laughs> true story. I landed in the ER one morning, I think during the time when I forget what type of thing was going around. It was the top of 2019 and I couldn't breathe. I was <laughs> right. I got there, and the doctor, the, the, the one thing that you want to notice when you go to, um, when you understand the hospital process, when you understand doctors, and I'm going to do a longer video on this. I got to see how y'all respond to it, though. And not video, I might do a live on this, because this is key. The medical field is really like a boutique integrated into regular life that brings income to the doctors, to the, to the people in the medical field, really via straight commission. Okay, period. But because it's such an integral part of our process here in this country, it's almost a guarantee they're going to make that money. You remember, I mean, back in the day, I'm, I'm Gen X. So all of us, you know, thought back in the day, automatically doctors are going to make this money. But as I've gotten to know people um, over time who have been surgeons, um, one in particular, who explained to me just briefly in a conversation, the idea of being a member of a practice, how they made their money and all that kind of stuff. And then also working in the medical field to a degree. I did as a temp off and on some like long, long time ago. But their money is made after they see the patient. The point is that if you are not a person that's regularly going to the doctor, you're going to eventually, according to all the programming that goes on through television, through radio, through even this, according to how the collective is thinking that we are tapped into, what we're plugged into, right? Um, the messages that you're getting that are helping to program you are going to drive you eventually to the ER. When you get there, there's an entire process set up for you. Oh, we're going to test you on this. We're going to test you on that. We're going to test you. We're going to test you. We're going to test you. Now you need this. Now you need this. Now you need that. Now you, now you really need all this stuff. And boom, they just got their payday. They wrote the script. They just got their payday. 
I don't think a lot of people understand it. So as a result, I have always <laughs> been working in these fields. I have worked in the medical field and I have worked in pharma. Okay. I've worked in other fields too, but I have worked at hospitals and I have worked in pharma. Okay. I'm always at support staff, so I see a lot of what's going on behind the scenes. And when I say support, administrative, secretarial, whatever you want to call it, um, uh, an assistant in some type of way, administrative is going to happen, okay? Because I see what's going on behind the scenes, the connectives start to happen. Like, say, for instance, did you know that you could be within your perfect weight range or be completely obese and both people be going to an orthopedic doctor for knee replacements? Did you know that? Don't think that because you're heavy, it automatically means that. But let's get back to this herbal thing. The reason why I'm here. Inspired action. Okay. If you are a person that decides that you're going to detox your body on a regular basis... It should be something that's happening, I think, personally, to live a balanced life quarterly at the most, biannually at the least. So two times a year, you should be doing some type of um, detox or fast four times a year at the highest. Because I just think that, that it becomes astringent when you're living a detox lifestyle, okay? Like, there's no fun in it. And that's not human either. They ain't humanity. You're supposed to be having some fun while you down here, okay? Not just living a life of of restriction. Okay? All right. Otherwise, what else are you de- what are you detoxing for? What are you detoxing? You gonna detox air all the time? Like, come on. All right. So if you are a person that is gonna detox, this is again, I'm jumping around. You're gonna stave off so many things. I this time I went to the ER. Robin Yard's been, I'm back, I'm back, okay? I'm back at the door. Okay. Man is yelling out my weight. I'm plus size, really nice. And no, no, what did he say? He said, no diabetes, no high blood pressure, no this, no that. He was running off all this stuff that cocktail, you know, according to what they understand. They see me coming. Oh, yeah, we're getting ready to check off these boxes and nothing got checked. I honestly believe it's because I'm a faster. I believe in detoxing the body, too. So detoxing and fasting are different. Be clear. Fasting, I think, is a little bit more extreme of a detox, but you can detox and not be fasting. You can detox by just coming down to fruits and vegetables. That's not fasting because you're still chewing. You're still getting food in your body. But you are restricting yourself to just having certain things. And at that point, a lot of watery foods running through your body. Okay? If you do that four times a year, you're going to live a different life. You're going to have different things going on with you. Add to it some some basic exercising like walking and then drinking a lot of water, but also drinking good teas, also living a good balanced life, really being a happy person. Hello, somebody. Your life's going to be different. Hello. Hello. Okay. And then you're going to have the chief of, of medicine or whatever he was that day in the ER yelling, and no, he wants to know nothing out of range, like all this stuff. He was like, he thought he was getting ready to get it at the ER. Nothing, man. You could all be like that. We could all be like that. And then start coming off the medications. How about that? You find a doctor that really wants to help you come off medications? Stick with them. See ya. <laughs>